Well, I tell you what, it's great to see all of you. Appreciate you coming and being a part of this today. Uh, we've had a, a busy morning with uh, preparing for a scrimmage and had a recruit in, and so uh, we appreciate your patience. Um, I, I don't know, uh, you know, you, you listen to these guys, uh, the staff, and if you're around them as much as I am, you know that they're they're the right kind of people, and uh, they work hard. We're going to get some throat lozenges for Coach Bolt and Dustin Landry and some of those defensive guys. A lot more communication on verbal communication on uh, on defense and uh, and uh, a lot of verbiage going on in the teaching room and and also on the field. And so they're all they're all hoarse and got frogs in their throat, but. Uh, uh, I really, uh, I really like this staff. Uh, you know, I've, we've been through some painful issues to get to where we are, uh, staff-wise. Uh, hired Wayne Boat back, and as uh, and I gave him, I gave him his first. I, I was the first guy to ever pay him to coach, and he worked and coached for a long time before he ever really got paid to coach. And uh, I was the first guy ever to pay him, not much, but paid him. And uh, and then I was I, I I was the first guy that ever made him move to the defensive side of the ball, which which he is uh, taken to like a duck to water, and uh, he's he's never moved back to the other side since since he left uh, the offensive line. And uh, of course, uh, you know Dustin, and having been a coordinator in the junior college ranks, and having been around Bolt and Chiswick and all those guys at two or three different places, uh, you know uh, certainly. A, uh, has added to our our uh, our coaching staff and moving Benji back there to to the to the uh, safeties. Uh, Benji Benji Parker has coached all 11 at one time at a junior college junior college level, so he's a very qualified uh, football coach. And <clears throat> Randy Butler, you know, I'm just uh, proud we got him. And uh, you know, we uh, we are uh, he's our recruiting coordinator, coaches our front. Harlan Byers helping him with the ends and and uh, all of, all these guys even these young guys that are GAs and student coaches run around here working working their buns off trying to trying to help us get to a point where we feel like we win a game our support staff Richard Shaughnessy Chuck Ash our our academic people up here Matt Mayotte uh, Smooth Jamal Smith and and uh, Tony uh, Ferrani on the administrative side all hands-on football people and and uh, you know the only problem with uh, with uh, them is they need help and uh, you know we need we need more manpower and uh, if we if we compared our staff to some of the staffs that y'all most readily cover you would see that we're way down numbers wise uh, uh, as far as as hustling around trying to make sure that we have enough people and manpower to uh, monitor the progress on and off the field and in the classroom of these uh, student athletes. So, but we got a lot of people that are doing a heck of a job, and and uh, uh, you know I'm 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 excited about the staff. Uh, of course, Jim Dye coming back uh, was a no-brainer. He worked for me 10 years, and for us here at Troy, and coached in high school over in Georgia, and got him a second retirement and. And uh, and uh, he was uh, he was a logical guy to bring back here. Losing John Slarman was was a blow to our offensive staff, but I think we we filled uh, those shoes quite readily with Jim Dye. And uh, uh, you know uh, this uh, this camp is is uh, gruesome. I mean it's 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 tough. It's tough on the players. It's tough on the coaches. It's tough on everybody. And uh, it's tough on our wives. Uh, and uh, you know everybody, everybody has their has their way of dealing with that. And uh, and and uh, but there are a lot of people in the wings that support us totally, that are, are affected by the 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 program and uh, the organization that we try to uh, put forth to 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 coach this football team. And uh, I just talked to a recruit and pledged to his mom and daddy that that. Uh, that if he came here, that that we would uh, we would try to make him help help him cross that bridge from boyhood to manhood, and uh, and that's uh, that takes a lot of effort. That takes a lot of time. That takes a lot of uh, maybe some closed door s sessions, but it takes a lot of footwork too. People going and doing and and uh, you know I 
I, I can't tell you how what a great attitude all of our people have about working toward trying to furnish wins on Saturday with this football program. And uh, so I, as far as the team, the personnel in general, I think we're bigger, I think we're faster, uh, and we're more talented probably than we've been in a while. Now whether that, whether that uh, computes into what we really want to do, and that's win games, uh, is yet to be seen. And I do think we're headed in the right direction. There are a lot of, there are a lot of bright things going on even today in the heat. Uh, a, lot of things, a lot of things going on. I heard Kenny talk about it a little bit. I think Shane's in here. And uh, we've got some good things going on from a special team standpoint also. Uh, Will Scott, our kicker and punter, from last year's back, and he's he's a little bit, a little bit dinged up right now. But uh, 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 we've got a couple of other guys uh, that uh, look like they could kick for most college teams, and uh, punt also. Uh, the return guys, uh, you know, I think it's, uh, it's it's when you put a guy back there to catch a punt. For the most part, you're gonna know a lot about him, and. Uh, you know, you, you're going to know that he is team first. You're going to know that he can catch it. You're going to know that he can secure it. And hopefully he can do something with it after he catches it. And then you you, you got to coach the heck out of those other ten on a punt return or kickoff return. So, I, But I think we got some quality guys uh, with some speed and quickness that are working in those areas. Uh, the key, I think, to... Uh, finding success is depth across the board, establishing depth on defense, defensive front, linebacker, and in the secondary where there's a lot of candidates. And finding the right combinations and, and enough depth up front on offense. Uh, getting a few people well. Chandler Worthy, uh, you know, has had a quad strain, which, uh, you know, he he certainly adds to our weaponry if if he's out there, and uh, of course, you know we 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 held three today and uh, and uh, trying to make sure that we don't do something stupid and get him hurt. Uh, and there's a lot of guys that are just as valuable as that. But uh, uh, Eric's had a great camp, and we decided to give him give him a little rest today, which he deserves. But uh, if we get them all back, if we get them all back, and we get them all coached up, and we get where we can line up on get to call in and line up on defense, I think we got a chance to be a good football team. And uh, of course, it all starts with UAB, which is our primary focus on August 31st at 6 o'clock. Any questions? Coach, you like that opening with you know, what you consider one of your big traditional rivals right up front there on the 31st? Well, you know, we got, you know, I, I don't know how I really feel about that game. Uh, uh, that's always, a, that's a tough, that's a tough game. Those guys play probably as well against us as anybody they play. And, it, and I, I'm hoping that our guys understand that that's what's going to happen when they come in here on the 31st. Uh, you know, and, and to win that game uh, as an opener will be tremendous. You know, to, if you were to lose that game as an opener, then you got, you, you know, it's sort of like a, a heavyweight fighter having to get up off the deck. And, uh, but, you know we're we're uh, we're getting ready to win, and uh, you know I'm sure they are preparing in the same fashion up there, and I, I would predict it to be a, another another heck of a ball game. Uh, we just got to try to get ready to play four quarters of uh, football our way, and uh, you know I'm excited about the about the opportunity. Well, it's uh, it's important, you know. Uh, sometimes, uh, and you know, I I think I think we can find five guys, but we like uh, Kenny said, we need a lot more than five. We need at least three rotating at the tackle and guard, and we need a couple of centers, and because we play so fast that you know we're human too on offense. You know, the, the, they get tired also, and. Uh, so I think the offensive line is a, is a key slot. Uh, it should, I, I, it is for everybody. Uh, 
but I, I really like uh, what I've seen. Uh, looks like to me that we have progressed with some of the schemes and things that we're doing running the football. And, uh, uh, and we got some guys uh, <clears throat> that have shown us that they know how to run with it. You know, I, I like 32 this morning and uh, things that he did with breaking a couple of big ones. Gordon Chun has been uh, has been the right kind of back. Uh, you know, every his answer to everything is north and south. He makes really good cuts. He sees the, the scheme well when he's running it. Uh, Little Lindsey, I tell you, you know, he he's lightweight, skinny, but he uh, he uh, he he makes things happen when you get the ball to him. And uh, we got some other guys that are really, uh, and if you want to ask about them, I you know, I, sometimes I forget them. Kenny Kenny had them down pretty good. I like them. I like them. I think we got a good core of running backs. They are young. You got to be careful with them early success, early ball security, things that are important to being successful uh, is, uh, is important. And uh, just got to keep, keep sawing wood. Coach, you mentioned Brandon. Um, talk a little bit about how you think he's progressing with the bigger role than he's Well, I, I think he's grown up uh, substantially since last spring. I thought he had an OK spring. He got dinged a little bit early and missed some days. Came back and, and finished strong, which was a good good sign. And this this fall, you know, he is uh, he's uh, done the things that he needs to do to secure a slot, you know. And uh, and uh, you know, we, I think I think him he along with those other guys and playing a role and it gives us a chance to be good early. Well, we got to be better, uh, uh, and I think we are better. I don't know if we showed it this morning, uh, 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 but there's a there's a <laughs> there's a lot of things that go into coaching a defense in the NCAA college football Division One today, and probably all divisions. Uh, 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 you know, there's so much uh, so much uh, diversity of formationing and and up tempo and and uh, scheme uh, with the fast screens and the wide zones and then right at you and then the balls down the field in the big in the big seams the deep seams and you know our guy our guy our guys can hit any of those seams and uh, so it really presents a huge problem and, and uh, I, I think uh, I think we are we have designed uh, uh, and designed a scheme to be able to defend any of those any of those uh, approaches offensively but you know there are a lot of elements that go into playing defensive football uh, and you you know it's uh, but they, they scatter you out so much now and the rules have uh, enhanced offensive football hurt defensive football in my opinion and uh, so you got to deal with it you got to be man enough on defense to overcome it Well, uh, Clark's finding his way, and he's he's another young man that that, that we think a lot of uh, out of high school coming in here, and uh, he's a tough guy. You know, he he's got he's got a lot of Trojan background in his in his in his family and everything, and he I think he'll uh, continue to get better with reps. He he's a he's a he's a physical receiver, and uh, and I think I think he certainly has a chance to play a role for us.